Hey guys, what's up? And today I'm going to be showing you how to install the animated player mod for Minecraft 1.7.2. Now, uh, before you install this mod, uh, just keep in mind that it is for 1.7.2. And uh, just in case you didn't know, that is a earlier version of Minecraft, which basically means you can't do anything which you could on 1.8.3. So, you know, you can't join servers, you can't do all that stuff. So you have to downgrade in order to use the mod. Uh, you can still play 1.8.3, you just have to remove the mod. Okay, so uh, once you've, you know, got that in your head, uh, you want to visit the description and under downloads there will be three links. You want to click them all. Uh, the first one is going to take you to the animated player mod, just the mod page, and then the second one to Microforge, and then the last one to Animation API. Uh, but before you download that, you want to make sure to run 1.7.2 first. So open Minecraft. Uh, this is just so to install Forge you have to. So to do this, you simply go new profile down the bottom. Uh, also, you should have like one profile at the moment, and uh, that should run like 1.8.3. So yeah, uh, you want to click new profile. You can name it whatever you want. You're probably just going to delete it later. So. I don't know, whatever you want, and then where it says use version, you want to click this arrow, and then you want to tick 1.7.2, click here, release 1.7.2, so click that, then save, and then you just want to select that, I don't know why I named it 1.8.3, anyway, uh, you want to select it, and then press play, and uh, then this will just get all the files needed for 1.7.2. Okay, once it's done, uh, it's going to say Minecraft 1.7.2 down the bottom. And uh, if it says that, you're all good. So you can quit. And now, uh, you can download all the stuff you need. So uh, first, the uh, mod itself. So just scroll down until you see download, animated player, whatever. Just click this one here, the first biggest one. And uh, then you want to click download at the bottom here. Just click animated player 1.7.2. Once you click that, it's going to take you to AppFly. You just want to wait five seconds at the very top here. Then you want to click Skip Add. And uh, once it's downloaded, it's going to come up with this message. You just want to press Keep. And uh, once you have that, you can close this tab. And now for Micro Forge, you want to click this arrow to view the uh, Micro Profiles versions. And uh, you want to click 1.7.2 because that's what we're installing it on. And uh, then you want to look for 1.7.2 recommended then go to installer so click that and it's going to take you to AppFly as well just want to wait five seconds then click skip add and it's going to come up with the same message press keep and then you can close that and now for animation API uh, you don't really need this but uh, I would just in case because apparently makes your player invisible sometimes so yep I would recommend getting this it's easy anyway so scroll down until you see uh, animation API for 1.7.2 okay you don't want to click this one because that's for 1.7.10 you want to click this one so the third one down so click that that's going to take you to AppFly as well you want to wait five seconds then click skip add and uh, once you have downloaded that that is the last file you need so press keep and uh, now what you want to do is drag all those three files you downloaded to your desktop so you can click show all downloads if you want and uh, then it will show these three and uh, maybe more but yeah anyway uh, you want to get all these three files and just drag them to your desktop so you should have forge animated player and animation API so once you've got all three of those on the desktop you can close this and uh, then you want to get this forge you want to right click on it open with Java click that and uh, then what you want to do is tick install client and uh, then you just want to press OK and uh, this won't work if you haven't run 1.7.2 so make sure you've done that uh, we did that at the start so you should have done that uh, but yeah you just want to wait for this to load okay once that's done it's gonna say complete and you just want to press OK and uh, you can delete forge now because you're done with that and uh, now what you want to do is install these two mods so press the Windows key and R at the same time and that's going to bring up this run thing basically in here you just want to search percentage app data percentage then press OK that's going to bring you here you just want to go to your .minecraft folder at the very top so go into that and uh, just to check it has worked go to versions here and then you should see uh, 1.8.3 
and then 1.7.2, which we did before, and then 1.7.2 forge. So if you see all three of these files, it will have worked. So then go back to your .minecraft, and uh, you want to right click in this open space here, just right click new folder, and just call it mods, M-O-D-S, and go into that, and drag that to the side, and then you just highlight these two files, and just drag them into that mods folder you just created. So just let go, and uh, once you have these two files in your mods folder, you are good. So you've basically installed the mod, now you just open Minecraft, and uh, now if you click this arrow to view your profiles, you'll see that you have three ones. So this just uh, runs the latest version of Minecraft, so you can just select that to play on the latest version without the mod, and then you have the 1.8.3, which is actually 1.7.2, but uh, I named it that. Uh, so you can just delete this, because it's pointless really. So delete like that, and then you have another profile, which is called Forge, which runs 1.7.2 Forge, which is basically just the mod. So to play with the mod, you just select that and press play. Okay, so if it's worked, it's going to say five mods loaded down the bottom, and also Minecraft 1.7.2. And uh, now if we make a world, oh also, if you go to mods, you can see that these are the two files we dragged in, so animation API and animation player mod, uh, you can also, oh I've already deleted, okay, uh, so yeah, uh, then if we make a world, you can see that if we press F5, as you can see, uh, there's some cool animations on how you walk, and uh, that's how you know it's worked, uh, there's also heaps of other ones like uh, shifting. That's pretty weird, but uh... So yeah, that's how you know it works. Uh, if it didn't for any reason, please leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you all later.